Hey everyone, Chronic Geek Syndrome here with a quick unboxing and review of the, I'm going to say maybe Skosh, is that how you say it? Um, it's an FM transmitter for the iPod and iPhone. As you can see from the front here, it has a nice um, design. It goes into the 12 volt power port of your vehicle. Uh, has controls built in on it as well as the, uh, the features for programming uh, frequencies that you can broadcast your music on. Uh, as you can see there, there's an app also built into the iPhone. Well, not built in. You got to download it from the App Store for free, but uh, you can use that also. Uh, it displays the artist and song name right on the uh, radio there, so that is very good. Oh, right on the RDS radio, so that means that on your actual radio in your vehicle, it'll display the name of the song. So looking at the right side here, we got a close-up of the uh, device itself showing 88.9 um, megahertz, I guess that's what it is. Uh, and then below it has a flexible neck which provides multiple viewing angles, so that's great. Um, you'll be able to look at it as much as, as many angles as you want. Um, scan frequency technology finds the best transmitting frequency, so I'm guessing that there's a special program built into it that uh, scans for the most clean frequency in your area. Uh, you can charge while you play your music, which it is a docking station, kind of. doesn't dock it, but it uh, plugs into it. There's four station programmable memory, so let's just say you make a trip from Edmonton, Alberta to Calgary. They're going to have different radio stations, so you can have two separate ones that are already programmed in. It says also below it, you can control your music from the center button, play, pause, skip tracks, and scan through songs. So that's also helpful if you maybe locked your iPhone and you don't want to be able to access it. It's very quick buttons that you can press and it'll look it'll do the function you want you want it to do. Looking at the exact other side, this will be the left side of what we looked at, there is a uh, app that it comes with and that's for the iPod Touch, iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS and this will also work with the iPod Touch, iPod Classic, iPod Nano, iPhone 3G and the older iPhones. Uh, there's a free FM transmitter app which plays songs directly from your iPod or iPhone music library. You can create a store, customized playlist on the go. Uh, five station programmable memory allows you to store your most frequently used stations. So what I'm saying, well, I get what I'm guessing this is, is once you actually hook it into the iPhone and use the app with it, which I might do, I might not, um, you can actually program up to five stations. You can swipe across the screen to manually scan through all possible frequencies and you can there's a current radio station song title artist name and album information are displayed on the screen itself and you can choose between both US and European frequencies so that's also helpful on the top we don't have much it's blue freak out the bottom we have the UPC code I think that's the, yeah, that's the UPC uh, and just some product information to go along with patents and tech support and everything else so Getting into the top of the box, we're going to uh, get rid of the security seal here. I don't have my unboxing knife, and I just ripped the box. That's okay. Uh, don't have an unboxing knife with me right now, so we'll just have to do with what we got here. So, opening up, we got a plastic interior, and we'll just kind of haul this out. Nothing else inside the box. It's yellow. Toss that to the side. Get the product itself here. Oh, nice. This is what they do to you. They uh, make it so you can't open it without pulling, I guess. Oh, this is going to be really loud. Okay, so you got to pull, pull this package apart. And you're left with the transmitter. And the cable, which just comes out like this. Woo! There we go. Okay, so we got the uh, transmitter itself in the box, or the plastic wrap that gave me some great trouble. Okay, so that's all here. Put this aside, and we'll get to it in a second. All right, so what you have is a uh, instruction manual which I just picked up off the floor oh, there's a product survey card I'm not going to use that digital FM transmitter with RDS okay so it goes into depth about 
how everything works, the app itself, and how to use frequency spacing and stuff, but I'm sure I'll get into that when I'm ready. Uh, also, move that aside, there's a spare fuse here for the device itself. I don't know if it's a spare or if you got to put it in, I'm pretty sure it is a spare. So, Getting to the device itself, we got the standard 30 pin proprietary connector, goes to the iPhone, iPod Touch, etc. And at the front here we have a couple buttons, so on the top it looks like a play, no, no that's a forward and up and down button. We got a preset button, auto scan button on the side, and in the middle is a button but there's no label for it so I'm not sure what it is for. Uh, nothing else around that. Okay, the bottom there is a port, or the bottom so I'm guessing that's for using it with devices that aren't compatible with the uh, 30 pin here so you can buy a cable for that. Let me get that flexible neck here for multiple viewing angles. Standard 12 volt power port. Simple, simple. So yeah, that's my review of the Scosh. Now, if I'm saying this wrong, correct me in the comments below. The Scosh um, FM transmitter. So I got it plugged into my iPhone here. But there's no power on it, so it's kind of useless right now. So yeah, that's my review. Thanks for watching. This is Chronic Geek Syndrome. Uh, be sure to subscribe and comment and everything else that we do on YouTube because that'll help me out a lot. I'll be able to get a lot more videos out to you guys and I'll know how much you appreciate it. So thanks for watching.